Hey what's going on guys welcome to this video which has been quite long awaited and it has taken me quite a while to make this guide um, It's mainly for beginners people trying to get their first couple of kills trying to get used to our axle Which is why the gear setup that I show will not be tailored mainly towards DPS But more towards staying and trying to get the kill without dying um, So that's it for any questions about that It's not going to be like an in-depth uh, amazing guide for people who are already decent at Araxo trying to get speed kills It's just going to be for people who are beginning to try and kill Araxo Anyway throw this a thumbs up to show your appreciation and support any comments you got about the video or any videos in general put them down below and i'll be sure to read them and enjoy so guys starting off with the gear setup this is the kind of gear that you want to bring um, as you can see in my one equipment i do have tetsu top and bottom because it's really good defensively very good for tanking and i have three pieces of war priest i have the saradomin war priest but samurak also has the exact same effect i have the helm boots and gloves um, that's mainly because it has a percentage chance of reducing the damage that you get by 50 percent which can be really useful over time saving you quite a bit of food there's a sign of death there which you can replace with a sign of life if you want to um a vampirism aura which is very useful for getting free life points as you do damage to Araxo. Um, superior Leviathan Ring, you can use a normal Leviathan Ring or any DPS ring you want. A ring doesn't make a lot of difference to be honest. Um, and for the cape, you can use any cape. You can use a Reef Walkers cape which is a tank cape or you can use the one that I'm showing right here which is a DPS Tokar Cal cape. And necklace, I definitely recommend the Phoenix necklace with one in your inventory as a backup. Mainly because you can quite easily get like one hit when you're low life points and Phoenix necklace can save you quite a lot of the times. Now if you see in my inventory i've just got the regular stuff I've got an anti-poison especially if you're meleeing um but especially and also for last phase sorry anti-poison is very useful because the damage over time from poison on the last phase is really quite deadly um it just negates that extra damage you have to deal with there's quite a lot of bruise in there because in the first couple of phases you don't really need to eat up and enough to like use a rock tail um bruise will do just fine and there are a lot more life points per inventory slot and also they don't take down your adrenaline so they're very good for dpsing and if you guys notice there's some little green thing that looks a bit like some uh, thing to make crystal potions or flasks um, in my inventory that is called an araxite pheromone which you can buy from the GE uh, it's street value right now it's around 4 mil even though the GE is like 150k um, if you are going for araxo and you're going to stay here for a while even if you're just going for your first kill or you're a seasoned veteran at araxo um, I definitely recommend buying that because it means that when you have it in your inventory araxo is 95% likely to spawn in the combat style that's a weaker to what you're using so if you're using melee gear it will 95% it will chance it will spawn uh, with a ranged uh, which will make it quite a bit easier throughout the kill giving you more accuracy um, you can also release the pheromone which reduces Araxos in rage which I'll get into later but I definitely would not recommend this because the price right now 4 mil wouldn't be worth it just for reducing the enrage once per day and you would lose it completely whereas if you just have it in your inventory Araxo will spawn and make it quite a bit easier for you throughout the kill now guys the range setup is exactly the same inventory and familiar you just want to fill it up with food as usual any food if you don't have rock tails you can use sharks it should be able to get you the kill but if you're going for your first kill i recommend spending a bit of extra money just to make sure you get it and you can learn some stuff while you're there and um, the range setup is exactly the same except i've subbed out obviously the uh, tetsu for superior death lotus um i've subbed out for the dry goals for ascensions and the cape that's only the only real changes um it, i don't recommend maging or axel to be honest even when you're really good at it it can be quite a bit harder to get kills for some reason um, definitely go with melee or range um, melee you do have to focus a bit more but it is a lot more DPS so you will get the kill over quicker other than that the inventory and the um, familiar setup will be exactly the same just fill up your familiar with food and you're all set to go so guys in terms of ability bars as you can see the uh, defensive abilities are all exactly the same and I recommend this because all of these abilities can be used throughout the kill to great effect especially if you have the shield in my inventory like I showed you before um, using resonance throughout the kill for some free healing and rejuvenate um, instead, uh, which means that you can carry on doing DPS with one of your weapons if you're using dual handed weapons other than that the first abilities um, for melee and range are just basic abilities followed by two thresholds but for range is three and one ultimate ability um, I'd always recommend using an ultimate that gives you damage over time so for melee you use berserk and for range you use death swiftness if you are crazy enough to try and use mage then use either metamorphosis or sunshine um, depending on which phase it is and that kind of stuff because metamorphosis is better when you have to run around um, and sunshine is better if you're staying in place um, for ranged if you actually do have to run around depending on what phase it is and how you like to kill a raxo um, use a damage over time ability like deadshot um, but for melee always use berserk it's one of the best abilities 
in the game you will take double damage but you will deal double damage and it can help get the phases down almost instantly making melee probably the fastest way to kill Araxo but also maybe even the hardest so guys now getting into the actual killing part of the guide and Araxo itself some general notes are that Araxo actually has four phases um, phase one is going to be the same no matter which path you take and in phase one there's going to be two webs open there's three possible paths the three paths are top middle and bottom each of them with their own special attacks and abilities and things to look out for which I'll go through in this guide um, now depending on which path you want to take uh, at the start of the kill you want to go to that web either top middle or bottom and burn down that web which will take around a minute um, during that time you want to go ahead and DPS Araxo on phase one um, now at one time only two paths will be open and one of the paths will be closed meaning you can't go through there but also you don't have to worry about dealing with that special attack from that path um, so for example if path one and three are open um, next time uh, path three might be closed so path one and two are going to be open and that's the way it rotates through which path is closed um, so at one time you will never have to deal with all three paths and all three special attacks but let's go into them right now so guys as i said before um the phase one attacks are all going to be exactly the same i'm going to go through all of the special attacks and uh, telling you what to do the first thing you want to do as soon as you go in is actually click on the web as soon as the rex spawns you want to click on the web of the path that you want to burn down either top middle or bottom you'll know all the special attacks and which one to burn down by the end of this guide i'll go through all the special attacks next from each uh, path but right now we're going to focus on phase one so here are the three special attacks that Araxo can do so guys on phase one there are three special attacks that Araxo can do and he rotates between these three, sh three special attacks He'll never do the same one twice and he will always do a special attack after five uh, standard uh, standard attacks or auto attacks um, so that's just something to note be ready for that and these special attacks will continue throughout the kill uh, meaning they're not only in phase one but for all of the phases including phase four so guys the first special attack is the cleave now if you are standing far away from Araxo he will actually draw you in which is why using freedom or anticipate on every fifth uh, auto attack or special attack of Araxo is really useful um, so it doesn't drag you in now if you don't move out of the way of this it will actually damage you for up to 5000 damage and you will damage your familiar for 1000 damage as well which is why your familiar can actually die now, as you can see on screen right here I actually failed to move away because as soon as Araxo starts to do this motion you know it's going to be a cleave and you have to click away I tried spam, spam clicking the floor but uh, when Araxo does this special attack uh, its area of radius where you can click it increases massively so the best thing to do would be as soon as you see that to use the minimap to run away it's also a lot easier for rangers because they can see that they're going to be dragged as soon as they're dragged in they can quickly run away and not get damaged um, but using freedom and anticipate uh, when you are ranging and standing far away is really useful on every fifth auto attack because it means that Araxo won't actually drag you in and you won't have to worry about running away next up you have the cocoon attack and this is definitely where using freedom or anticipate helps you because if you have one of these active all you have to do is as soon as you see yourself being hit by constant 200 spam click either on the floor away to try and run away or spam click Araxo to attack Araxo and it should get you out if you don't activate freedom or anticipate before the animation starts you won't be able to do it halfway through and you will actually get stuck in there for quite a bit longer than you would have to uh, with freedom or anticipate which is why as I said before after every fifth auto attack of Araxo so you wait for it to do a special and then it does five auto attacks on after that fifth auto attack it's going to do another special um, so be sure to have either freedom or anticipate ready at this time and rotate through both of them so you will always have one ready and the other one on cooldown uh, you definitely want to get out of this quickly because it'll just damage you for shit tons if you don't have freedom or anticipate and if you don't spam click away you're definitely going to end up dying obviously and finally we have the web cocoon attack and this um, is whereby Araxo will actually heal 5000 damage over time in 5 bursts of 1000 and any damage you do on Araxo will be reflected back to you 100% or 50% is random uh, so you want to make sure you get off Araxo in this time now the best thing to do uh, you can stop Araxo uh, from healing this 5000 damage over time by uh, attacking Araxo but you will obviously take the reflect 100% of the damage back or whatever it is it can even be double the damage or it can be half the damage 
damage it's all random um so a really good thing to do right now is if you are struggling to get dps um which shouldn't be a problem with melee if you're struggling to get a raxor down you want to use a bleed or damage over time ability which will actually um hit you for lower amounts but also hit a raxor uh, for really low amounts which will stop it from healing that 5000 life points but if you can dps that 5000 life points down quickly enough you don't really need to worry about this attack and it's one attack where using freedom or anticipate isn't really required and it doesn't really help you apart from maybe keeping you in combat while it does the healing so guys those are all the special attacks from phase one and you want to make sure that you watch out for these throughout the kill because they can happen at any time in the kill no matter what phase or what path you are on what you're doing um except for maybe uh, the bottom path which i'll go through later um but yeah you want to damage down what i like to do is get araxo down to as low life points as possible you can't kill it in this phase if you get it down to zero it'll just be healed five thousand and that will just continue happening what i like to do is uh, wait for the web to burn down get araxo down to around ten thousand life points and then move through as soon as you move through the empty gap from where the web was you will actually move on to the next phase depending on which path you're choosing and all that good stuff and what you have to remember is that at the end of phase one and two any life points that Araxo has left when you move on to the next phase um, half of that will be added in onto Araxo's life points at phase three so let's say uh, after end of phase one Araxo has 20k life points um, that means in phase three you have to deal an extra 10k and if at the end of phase two Araxo has like 20k life points again you will have to deal another 10k life points at the end of phase 3 which is why I like to get it down um, quick, uh, quite low on phase 1 and 2 because they are easier than phase 3 and even though in phase 3 you have to deal half the damage um, it still uh, is quite a bit harder because Araxo does get a, a does attack a bit faster and with a bit more damage in phase 3 so definitely at the end of phase 1 and 2 get Araxo down to really low life points and then move on to the next phase in the next phase, no matter which path you're doing, Araxo will gain another special attack called the Eggs. And this is whereby Araxo will actually reach out and throw a bomb at you. And anywhere on the map will spawn three Eggs. As you can see, they're there right next to me. Now what you want to do is actually run and stand on the Eggs. Um, because uh, the bomb will hit you and destroy those Eggs. And deal you 300 damage uh, depending on how many Eggs there are. Sometimes it will only spawn two Eggs and deal you for around 1000 damage. This is unblockable by the way. Um, but it will destroy the Eggs. Um, uh, if you don't do this then the eggs will actually spawn three minion spiders or two minion spiders depending on how many eggs there are which is just extra stuff to deal with and it will, the bomb will also hit you for quite a lot higher if you don't blow up the eggs so you want to make sure as soon as you see that bomb coming towards you you want to go ahead and stand on the eggs uh, find them on the map quickly stand on them wait for the bomb to explode and then walk back and attack Araxo and do whatever you are doing because otherwise you'll have to deal with some more minions and you'll be hit for quite a bit higher damage seeing as you're just trying to get a kill you don't want to have to worry about that so guys right here we have the top path um this is whereby minions will spawn araxo will actually spawn uh, 20 minions over time five at a time uh, depending on uh, how many you are if you are soloing obviously it would be 20 but if you're duo it will be 40 now you should see um, a yellow icon in the top as soon as you start this phase um the first special attack on this phase is usually an egg so you want to watch out for that go stand on the eggs like i told you to um now the yellow icon at the top if you hover your mouse over it it will tell you how many minions araxo has left to spawn if you don't deal with these and kill all of them in this phase you'll have to deal with them later on in the kill and you still want to be damaging araxo obviously now as soon as you see araxo actually uh, throw out loads of little spiders um that animation right there you want to make sure that you stop attacking araxo because there's three types of minions that it can spawn uh, one using melee one using range and one using mage obviously the imbued green ones uh, the imbued blue ones sorry use mage um the bladed red ones use melee and uh, the um the green ones they actually use range and there's also two other types of minion which are very dangerous one's called a mirror back spider which is actually quite easy to see um that is whereby as long as that's alive any damage you do to araxo will be a hundred percent reflected back to you a bit like the web shield so you want to make sure you watch out for that and kill that straight away and another spider that can spawn is one with a massive red blob on its back it's called a pulsing spider and there's a mirror back right there just so you guys know as you can see i got reflected the pulsing spider has a massive red thing on 
its back and it's very easy to see you want to kill that ASAP because the longer you leave it alive it will heal Araxo around 5000 damage every 10 seconds which you just can't deal with especially as you want to get Araxo down so there's three uh, combat spiders which are the imbued um, the bladed and uh, the spitting spiders all for uh, melee range and mage and then finally you have the other two special ones which are the most dangerous you want to deal with those ASAP the mirror back easy to see that reflects damage and the pulsing on screen right now that heals Araxo as you can see a 5k so you want to kill the minions and wait for them to spawn Araxo will still be doing the special attacks from phase one so you want to watch out for those um, sometimes Araxo does take very long to spawn these so which is why path one can be very annoying but you just want to deal with these kill all of these as they spawn watch out for the eggs the eggs can also damage the minions um, so can the cleave attack of Araxo so you want to make advantage of that um, kill these minions kill Araxo down and then move on to the next path so guys next up we have the middle path which is probably the most dangerous path what you want to do is just walk into the middle area which will move you on to the phase and as you can see there's a pool of acidity in the middle now the best thing to do is to just uh, stand right at the end of it so that Araxo is always standing over this pool that's the best thing to do as usual you want to watch out for the special attacks um, on this Araxo will actually gain a new special attack which is whereby it will uh, throw out a range like projectile but it won't come towards you it will spawn somewhere else now uh, that will actually spawn a spider which has an ability bar over his head or an adrenaline bar and you can see it quite clearly as soon as that spawns what you want to do is run away because if that touches you in melee distance it will one hit you as you can see one spawned right there it's called an acidic spider um, it has a uh, bar over his head that will blow up over time but if it touches you it will actually kill you instantly now as you can see while Araxo stands over this acidity in the middle um, he's still doing special attacks and I fucked up there a bit um, but yeah he's still doing a special attack but there's a green bar on the top which is actually filling up that's Araxo's acidity level um, now as it, this fills up you'll need to do this to obviously finish the phase but you want to watch out because Araxo does a lot more damage with higher acidity and there's another one hit spider you gotta run away from those things um, so yeah you gotta wait for that bar to be full um, there's a green skull icon if you hover over that it tells you how much acidity is left in the pool and you'll have to deal with that later depending on how much you actually fill up Araxo's bar but the best thing to do right now is wait until that green bar hits 100% which is only half of the bar by the way um, if uh, you can hover over that and it'll tell you the percentage as soon as that hits 100% uh, what you want to do is run all the way um, east from here so that Araxo stands right at the end of the path and you should get some notice coming up on your screen saying that uh, Araxo degrades the platform um, as you can see I'm just waiting for the um, acidity to go up right here uh, best thing to do really is to use devotion uh, to try and block out some of the damage because Araxo does so much damage when it's uh, fully acid when its acidity level is 100% but you gotta do that to get the phase over with um, as you can see right now it's hit 100% I'm gonna use a resonance attack it uh, on the web shield heal that damage and then run all the way east is a good thing to do right now would be to use surge um, as soon as Araxo comes right to the end you should see a message which tells you that Ar the acid drips down onto the platform now uh, Araxo definitely will still be doing special attacks you want to watch out for those right here but standing here you just gotta wait for the acidity to uh, break the platform as soon as the platform's broken Araxo will move on to the next phase and this um, obstruction right here will go away it'll let you jump down and move on to the next phase and you want to do that ASAP because if you stay here for long while Araxo's waiting in the next area you'll just get damaged over time and definitely still watch out for cleaves and the one hit spiders as you can see there's still some acidity left in the pool so you're gonna have to deal with that later next up we have the bottom path which is probably the easiest for people that are learning um, if this is open obviously you just want to run through and start the new phase it's really easy because Araxo will just attack you quite slowly you won't be able to attack Araxo but you don't have to worry about it it's life points and that kind of stuff in this phase best thing to do is to pray either range or mage depending on what armor you have you can obviously use resonance if you have a shield now, as you can see it will actually go dark and you'll be damaged over time for like up to 400 what you want to do is stand in these lights that spawn they're like spotlight kind of things and just wait here you want to survive um, use resonance as much as you can drink some brews um, you can even use devotion to stop the attacks um, it will change between range and mage attacks and the eggs will still be spawning on this phase but you don't have to worry about any of Araxo's special attacks like cleaves or the web shield or that kind of stuff you just need to pray and make sure you don't die from the damage over time which is quite easy you can just maybe eat a couple of food and it doesn't really matter as you can see Araxo prepares to come down and from the ceiling and charge this is um, 
the special attack of this phase and there's a door right there blocking you i'll tell you what to do as soon as araxo comes and runs towards you um it, its legs will actually uh, can be in four positions um I, uh, either open close towards the right or the left now depending on how well you do this uh, determines how quickly you can do it as you can see araxo's legs move to the right there so what you have to do is spam the right arrow on your keyboard um if you do this correctly if you do the correct um way or the correct side um then it will actually damage the door for 50 percent damage and it won't hit you for anything if you move but you move in the wrong way then it will only damage the door 25 percent and hit you for 2k and if you don't move at all um then it'll hit you for 5k and it won't do any damage to the wall so you want to make sure you move in the correct direction um if araxo's legs are open you want to spam the up arrow um if araxo's legs are closed you want to spam the down arrow if araxo's legs are towards your right then click the right Right arrow and if they're towards your left then click the left arrow um now the hardest one to remember is just open and close because um as soon as araxo's legs are open you want to click the up arrow just spam it as hard as you can you only need to hit it once but just spam it to make sure um you want to make sure you get the kill and if araxo's legs are closed hit the down arrow you should easily be able to do this in two tries even if you fail one you move the wrong place you can get it done in three if you don't fail the next two um so that's pretty easy that's the only thing you have to worry about this phase running into the shadows uh, the eggs and uh, Araxo charging as you can see right there its legs are closed so you want to use the down arrow if they're open use the up arrow if they're to the right use the right arrow and if they're to the left use the left arrow two successful ones will move you on to the next phase and just stay in the spotlight mate so guys on to phase three now the special attacks on this phase will be the same as the other phases um from phase one you'll have all three special attacks and you'll also have the eggs but you will also have the special attacks depending on which uh, paths are open so let's say um as you can see on screen right now the top and middle path are open now as i did the middle path and i worked with the acidity um i don't have to worry about the acidity right now there's only one spider right there now if you see a green spider walking around what you want to do is click lure on it and just walk under araxo it will heal Araxo 5k but it will deal with the acidity that's left over in the pool um, as you can see I didn't do the minions on phase 1 so I'm gonna have to do them on phase 3 right now because I went through um, path, uh, the middle path uh, but if you actually did the minions on path 1 on this rotation then you would have to deal with 4 acidic spiders to deal with the ho total 100 acidity of Araxo um, so yeah and if uh, phase let's say path, uh, the top path and the bottom path were open that means you if you did the minions on the top path uh, you just have to worry about the shadow um, on this uh, on this phase on phase three but if you did uh, phase uh, the bottom path and uh, you did the shadows and that kind of stuff you will still actually be attacked by the shadows and that kind of stuff you would have to stand in the light uh, but you would also have to deal with the minions so basically any um, thing that any special attack that you didn't deal with in the other paths uh, you will have to deal with it right now like the acidity for path two uh, the shadows even if you dealt with the shadows you'll still get shadow bombed right here so you want to watch out for that um, it's still the easiest one to do but if you didn't do the minions you'll have to deal with the minions on this phase uh, which is obviously a bit harder because Araxo does attack faster so the uh, distance between the auto attacks of the time between the special attacks is a lot less so sometimes you won't have freedom or anticipate ready what you want to do is just make sure you don't die and get Araxo down as fast as you can um, to be honest you want to deal with all the uh, things that Araxo throws at you right now because in phase 4 it will just be almost impossible to get a kill um, if you're dealing with minions and acidity and trying to kill Araxi so make sure you deal with everything here um, you get rid of all the acidic spiders lower it under Araxo you kill all the minions you work out you kill all the eggs blow them all up and you get Araxo down as soon as you get Araxo down to zero life points you'll move on to the final phase um, if you have any questions about certain paths and certain special attacks and that kind of stuff be sure to put it down in the comments and hopefully I'll try and explain it to you I know it is a bit confusing at first but once you get it down it's quite easy to understand so I'll definitely answer in the comments down below so guys finally we have the dreaded phase 4 and now you should see a cutscene once you finish phase 3 where your Araxa moves over to the final platform if you've done this before as you can see it will skip the cutscene uh, what I like to do is adrenaline stall but if it's your first time you'll have to go through the whole cutscene now for melee this phase is really easy um, you just have to stand in melee distance of Araxi and pray mage because she will only go uh, between uh, maging you and using melee as you can see I got stunned there and I got cleaved As you, uh, so you obviously know that she's still going to keep on doing the special attacks um, 
Barak Seed right now as 100 life points at the start of phase 4 um, but after 50,000 life points she will attack a lot quicker and a lot harder but she won't use any of the special attacks anymore so you don't have to worry about them after you get it down past 50k life points so what I would like to do is actually use uh, my abilities, thresholds and that kind of stuff try and stay alive because you will get damaged a fuck ton especially as a melee um, I'll show you a range uh, version of this also uh, but what you want to do as a melee is just do as much damage as you can and wait and try and get Araxo down past 50,000 life points because after that it starts to get interesting uh, because Araxo does hit a lot harder but as you guys know um, she doesn't do any special attacks like I just told you um, before 50k you want to obviously use anticipate and freedom as much as you can to stop yourself getting cocooned and getting cleaved if you run away um, that kind of stuff just eat up make sure you're saving use uh, some defensive abilities run away from cleaves all that good stuff as you can see I'm coming close to 50,000 life points now as you can see it says Araxi starts to get enraged she attacks faster and harder so what we want to do is actually save adrenaline right now for melee a really good thing to do uh, is when Araxi is around 30,000 life points use berserk and then an adrenaline pot and then when Araxi is just over 25,000 life points use a threshold because that will actually murder Araxi and at 25,000 life points she summons something called a putric acid wave which you can see jumping around and you want to kill Araxi before this thing comes on you it's like the core at core if it stands on you it will damage you for like 2,000 life points per tick so you want to make sure you run off that as soon as it gets on you but if you do run away from it um, after it hits you once it will do like five jumps around the room and then come back to you so you don't have to worry about it for another couple of seconds you just keep on damaging Araxo and you should get the kill for Melia's um, the putric acid thing isn't really an issue um, you just have to let it hit you once and then move away and then carry on attacking Araxo try and get it down as soon as possible so guys in terms of ranging it is a bit harder because when standing away from Ar Araxi um, she will actually change her attack style depending on what you're praying so if you're praying mage the next attack will be range which means that um, while you're ranging or maging if you decide to do that what you want to do is uh, wait for her attack to hit you and then change prayer to the other style and you want to keep doing this throughout the kill as you can see I actually fail at doing it here what you want to do is pray range when the attack hits you and then uh, you obviously want to keep on anticipating and freedoming because for the first few 50k life points as I said before um, she still does her specials so just eat up make sure you save up and just pray to whatever she's attacking with and you're gonna have to keep changing prayers a really good thing to do is to actually have a both pray range and pray mage on your ability bar or action bar which means that makes it quite easy for you um, to change prayers using your keyboard instead of having to click and other than that just keep on tra praying uh, make sure you use an anti-poison because that 280 damage over time just increases and just wrecks you um, you want to get it down to below 50k life points as usual um, and then after 50k life points as I said before at 25k life points um, it will spawn the core and after 50k it will do more damage so after 50k a really good thing to do is to use uh, resonance uh, so not resonance sorry devotion because that protects you fully from the attacks if you are praying the right prayer um, to be honest the range DPS is a bit slower um, but is a little bit easier for the start of the kill this phase definitely I'd say range is harder but as soon as you get this down then it makes p4 quite easy for you as you can see right there it says araxi starts to get in rage attacks a bit quicker and does more damage so this is where you definitely want to make sure you are changing um prayers and you are using resonance whenever you can with your shield and using defensive abilities but when you think it's around 25,000 to 30,000 life points uh, throw up a, a shadow around you um death swiftness and use a um adrenaline potion get up to rapid fire and when you think it, sometimes the hp bar doesn't show any glitches so whenever you think it's around 25,000 life points use rapid fire or you can use tendrils um, but that is quite risky I wouldn't recommend that if you're just starting off getting kills and then dodge the shadow core when it comes out as you can see right there and you've got the kill it's quite easy with the death swiftness um, to get a lot of damage so you want to make sure you finish off the last 25k life points ASAP and I got a nice cheeky drop right there so guys that's going to be it for this beginner's Araxo guide. Now I know I was talking quite fast and I got through a load of stuff in a short period of time. So if you, if you are confused in any way, if you have any other questions um, that are apart from this guide that haven't been explained or anything in this guide that you didn't really understand, put them down in the comments. I'll definitely answer your questions, all of your questions. I'll try and do that for sure. Um, and also throw this video a thumbs up because it took a very long time to make. Um, I had to get all the clips and then edit it and all that kind of stuff. You guys know how it is. Um, throw it a 
thumbs up any comments i'll definitely answer as many as i can and try and get your queries down so you guys can start a raxel making some gains and hopefully make yourself a full leg for that extra gps right there um anyway be sure to come and raise subscribe as usual i look forward to seeing all of your comments and the ratings on this video um any feedback as usual put it down in the comments i've said enough peace out